So how are we doing today? Uh, I decided let's start another porting project. This one might be a little more involved, but it's kind of Homelite's version of a of a of a hot rotted saw. That's one of their quicker 60 cc class saws. So we'll go ahead and get to work on this one and see what we can get out of it. Uh, this one will happen to be a Super XL 130. So today we're going to check a few things and see what we're going to get into. All right. So it looks like we're going to have a little bit of scoring on the piston to deal with. Um, the cylinder might be okay. So we have a little bit of scoring there. Um, let's go ahead and move forward with a compression test and test for spark both. Let's do both of those. Uh, we'll see what we're going to get into here. Those two items, you know, we kind of need to knock those off the list. And then we'll try to finish off with uh, checking our squish. Alrighty. All right, so we're gonna check for spark. <clears throat> and I'm just using a scrunch to ground it out because I want to eliminate the spark plug from the equation. Now this should light up pretty brightly. Uh, if it's not super bright, then you might have weak spark. So just keep that in mind. This isn't the best spark tester, but it should glow fairly bright. Uh, if it's not really bright, then you might have weak spark. But let's give it a crank and see what we got. That looks like pretty good spark to me. So looks like pretty good spark to me so let's go ahead and start moving towards a compression test now this cylinder is really dry so I'm gonna put a couple of drops of oil in there uh, I just I won't get a good compression reading with it being dry so let me put a couple of drops of oil in there and uh, hook up the compression tester alrighty all right I got some oil in there I'm hooking up the compression tester right now. Uh, I didn't put a whole lot of oil in there, just a couple drops, just to make sure it's, you know, lubed up. Let's see if I can do this without knocking it down. I'm going to have compression now, so i got to stand up. Not very good. What are we at? About 100? That just might be because the cylinder's too dry. Should we oil it up again? All right, let's, uh, let's try this again, just to see if it made much of a difference. I wasn't expecting this cylinder to have, to, to have great compression. So it came up, we're at about 115 now. It's still not great. So, you know, we're gonna have to cure that issue in this build. I wasn't expecting greatness. You know, we got scoring. We're gonna have to deal with it. 
Does it affect the cylinder or the piston or both? That's the question. Now you might be wondering why I'm doing this 130 when I received a VI 130 the other well, week or two ago. Um, that's just because the VI is still missing some parts. So it's gonna sit until I can gather up those parts. But in the meantime, I can build this 130, you know? Might as well build the one I have. So what are we doing next? Squish. Let's see what our squish looks like. In fact, I can see down that cylinder right now when I see. I have a feeling our issue is going to be with the rings. And the piston. But we'll see as we get it apart. All right, so I got my solder in place. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that looks really good. Wait till you see this. Let me see if I can get this to focus. I like that looks. That is really good squish. Already. So let me work at getting this measured. 37 thousandths. I measured it five times and I got 36, 37, 38. So I'm just going to say 37 thousandths. That's pretty good. That's really good. I hope this cylinder is good. You know what I mean? We can do something with that. Uh, I mean... base gasket at 17 thousandths would put me down at 20 thousandths of uh, squish. You know what I mean? I can't see it. There isn't much there. Let me clean it off and show you. You see, there really isn't much in there. You can kind of see it sticking out up there. We'll know more whenever we get it apart. But for now, we got that far. Next time we'll work getting this apart and getting some timing numbers off of it. But uh, I think we're going to have a pretty hot saw by the time we're done here. So we'll soon find out. Uh, so we'll see you in the next one. And uh, y'all have a good evening, all right? Thanks. Bye.